Thank you, Mr. Chair. And uh, the Senator Inhofe is next. I think he'd be followed by, by me. And then we'll move along. I think after that, uh, Senator Kramer, Senator Whitehouse, Senator Padilla. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, and uh, it's good to see you again, as I already mentioned to you, um, uh, Chair Mallory. I have two uh, requests, and they're not related to each other. They're separate. Let me start with the first one. And just so there's not any misunderstanding just what, what I'm asking for, I'm actually going to read it so I uh, have a record of what I'm saying, all right? DOD is legally responsible for the cleanup of PFAS contamination that they caused. In order to clean up the contamination, they need to dispose of it. The best way to do so is the incineration. Uh, DOD is ready to incinerate PFAS waste, but has been told by someone in the administration not to do it. Uh, the two questions I would have is, uh, first of all, uh, who is telling them that they can't release their incineration guidance? And the second thing is, if they can't incinerate, how do you propose they dispose of PFAS-contaminated minerals? Um, so you're, you're from the, the, the right area to respond to those questions, I believe. What, what would be your response? Okay, uh, uh, thank you, Senator, for that question. Uh, PFAS is, is obviously a really important issue that the administration is spending uh, a fair amount of time on, and specifically in, in my office, I am chairing a um, uh, interagency policy council that is focused on trying to coordinate uh, the PFAS activities that are occurring all across the government. I mean, the, from, the, from the campaign uh, until uh, right when the president issued early executive orders, PFAS and its, um, the need to address it has been a high priority for them. One of the things I'm trying to do within the interagency uh, uh, policy form is to, to make sure that the agencies are working together as they are identifying what are the um, actions and tools that are, are necessary in order to make sure that we are meeting the challenge of PFAS. I mean, we are in a place with PFAS where um, the, the science is still evolving, the standards are still uh, need to be put in place, there are a variety of technical things that need to happen. Meanwhile, there are uh, families and people who are, are being harmed every day. And so trying to make sure that we're able to move in a way um, that allows for the agencies to uh, address the issues and address them in a way that um, are, is responsive to the, the kind of health concerns of the community, I think is important. Incineration is an issue. I know EPA and guidance that they issued, I believe it was last year, um, talked about incineration being kind of a, uh, it's a, one, among the things where yeah, it's an approach, but it's one that we have to be very careful about because of the uh, air quality impacts that are associated with that. Um, and so I know we are talking to DOD about um, the, the studies that they have underway and uh, getting uh, additional information about um, the work in um, incineration and PFAS, uh, and that is part of an ongoing discussion. It's my understanding that uh, New York has already crossed that bridge. They've made a, a, a statement as to the, any dangers having to do with this. And, uh, and so that study has been going on, I assume, for quite some time. Uh, and so uh, I, I just uh, want to find out when this is going to be uh, resolved. I mean, uh, right now, if you leave it uh, the way that you're stating it there, that it's something you don't like in this in the first place, and therefore it's uh, it's going to take you a while, I guess. Oh, how long is this going to take so that you'll be able to clean this up? Um, well, so uh, first of all, Senator, I think we are we are spending um, real effort in trying to get the agencies to uh, work together around this issue. Um, I think but, that. But your agency is an agency that has the responsibility to uh, resolve this problem. And, and, what I, and what I'm saying is that we're gathering the information that will make that possible. The, the New York study that you made reference to, I think that there are other um, studies that we are not able to get, um, make 
available uh, at this point that DOD has done, and we want to see what those studies look like, which I think will be this summer. So if, if, the, uh, if, if, if this is the only study that has been, is this the only study then that has been uh, publicized? I don't know the answer to that question, but I'm happy to get back to you on it. Well, there's not a lot of time to get back uh, because we have to do something with this right now. Nothing's nothing's being done, and and uh, and I came to this meeting because it's apparently the White House that is stopping this or delaying. Is it is it being stopped or delayed? Can you inform me as to the status of this? What, what I can say about it, uh, Senator, is that we are having conversations with DOD um, uh, about this guidance. I did not um, perceive us as stopping or even delaying that, but we are having conversations with them about what is um, their plan and what's necessary to address but, this issue. But aren't you precluding them from doing, from doing the uh, cleanup? What I asked DOD to do, to do was to, to pull together the information so that we can have a briefing for everyone about what is um, what their plan is. Um, I did not preclude them from doing anything. Uh, all right, then uh, when will that, uh, give me a time frame of this. This is an inconvenience, as you understand, uh, for DOD, DOD, we have things that we need to be doing, and uh, we've, we need to be using this uh, technology that is, has been acceptable, and, uh, and uh, we just, we just want to get to the bottom of where we are today, uh, how much time it's going to take to accomplish the different things you are trying to determine, uh, and, and where we're going to be with this. Well, well again, uh, thank you, Senator, for the question. I will definitely get back to you with where we, what the status is. Um, I, will, I will say that um, DOD uh, actually was, uh, was arranging for, and I think we were assisting in arranging for a meeting. Uh, I'm not sure if it's scheduled yet. All right. Uh, I know my time is. Uh, I have one other issue I want to talk about. So let me just wind up this one real quick here. Uh, you have nothing uh, today that you're uh, going to be able to share with me in terms of what's uh, what, uh, when we'll be able to uh, clean up this mess. No, not unknown. No, Senator. I will definitely get back to you on that. And it might you, be today, but it won't be while I'm sitting here. Well, all right. You've made that clear. Uh, how long do you think it would be? Um, Give me a I, time frame. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I commit to you that today is Wednesday. I commit to you that we'll get back to you by certainly by the end of the week on what, where we are on the issue. Okay, that's good. Now, my other issue I'll bring up when, uh, on the second round. Right, that's fine. And I would just ask.